Hello everybody, it's Stellara and welcome back to another episode of Chained Echoes. Glenn awakens in the floating city of Marilea, the capital city of the church which has approached Volandis. Uh, we are here to hopefully find out more about the Order of Leonar. I mean, we didn't have much of a choice but to follow the church here. And uh, for the moment, we need to go find all of our friends who are apparently out exploring the city. So while we're at it, we can hopefully get some more information about the city itself and what the church has been up to. You're finally back on your feet, great. I think your Lisbon friend is doing better as well. He went out for a stroll. That's good news. No one in any of these rooms who want to talk to us. Oh, we're in like a little inn, it appears. You are the guests of His Excellency, aren't you? I hope you enjoy your stay. Here's Sienna. Fresh air? No, I'm fine. I'm gonna stay here. Sienna doesn't look so good. She probably needs a nice ice devil pudding. What in the world is an ice devil pudding? Do I even want to know, Tomki? <laughs> okay, that just brings us back upstairs. Sienna clearly has a lot to digest. She has some sort of past or history with the church. Hopefully we'll be able to uncover more of that. Wow, just stepping outside the inn. This place is beautiful. Look at all this green space. Birds. Salvation through progress is our credo. so crazy to think this is a whole city that just floats. Oh, you're interested in how the church is structured? Yeah. The Gandebrand Society consists of various departments that serve to improve the world through technological advancement. This includes the church. Although the society originated from the church, it is now an equal department. We want all people who participate in God's work to be on the same level. Many people do not understand this because they think that the church and the secular corporation are antithetical to one another. But God has shown us that this fusion works. Thanks to our faith, we cultivate people and open them to technical progress. The church is called the cultivation department within the organization, but we rarely tell that to the outside world because it doesn't sound particularly religious. Interesting. So the church is actually a branch of like a technological corporation? That's different. The church is financed by donations from their believers and the income of the Gandebrand Society. Every department of the Gandebrand Society has the same level of authority. The church is one of them. Together, we're trying to lead Aldrea to a better future through technological progress. I guess that explains... Remember we saw the guy who the Pope was reporting to? Makes sense that he's probably the head of this Gandebrand Society. I've heard that Sir Eva was once called the Boar of the Northern Sky. She supposedly is known to fight fiercely in battle. Oh my gosh. Hmm? What's Amalia doing there? Alright, Cress, time to learn how to do this small talk. Ahem, what are you staring? I mean, how are you doing, Bethraz? We are doing fine. Why do you ask? Your arms and legs, so they belong to your son? Not exactly. They are my son. Or at least parts of what is left of him. Can you communicate with him? No, that's impossible. But I can sense him. I can feel his ether. Well, that's something. You are asking a lot of questions while keeping a lot of secrets to yourself. Secrets? You saw my past as I saw yours. Yet, we did not see everything. True. It would most certainly be fair to lift these secrets of mine, since I saw yours. I think I know what you would like to ask. What did I pay, correct? What did I offer to receive this curse? The power of healing was not cheap. I thought I could offer one of my siblings, but they meant rather little to me, so the masked man did not accept them. Of course he wouldn't. He wanted to get rid of them, so that would have been too convenient. Unfortunately, yes. So instead, I paid with a part of my life. I paid with my future. Your future? All the years that I would have lived in this world, I offered them. Don't tell me. I do not have much longer to live. Perhaps a year, maybe two. 
That's a high price. At least with the power of healing, I had the chance to help a lot of people before I leave this world. You are strong, Amalia. No, I think I received the curse because I was too weak. I was just another victim of the palace's intrigues, but contrary to my siblings, I received the chance to live a few years longer. I was lucky. I was not strong. You were a child. You didn't have to be strong. It is the parent's task to protect their children. Your parents failed, and so did I. Anyway, we wonder if there is a way to lift the curse. If there is, we most likely will not find it within my lifetime. Probably not. I think I should return to the hotel. My body hasn't recovered completely yet. What's this? Oh, it's an elevator. Wow. And here I thought this place was huge, and now there's multiple floors. Oh, apparently entry is forbidden. Oh, the, the Holy Mother's Fellowship. You may pass, of course, I guess. Although, I advise against it. Now I want to know what's back here. Oh, this is their secret Skyrimer stash. This works torture, I tell you. But at least we have food and a roof over our heads. It's worse than other parts of the world. The work is demanding and drains you completely. But for God, we gladly devote ourselves. Now hurry up. God will notice your half-hearted behavior. I don't give a shit about Gandabranth. I worked here because I have no other choice. Somehow, I have to make ends meet. Uh, this is the underbelly of the church that they don't want us to see. The less glamorous side. If we are hardworking enough, we might move up. I hear the R&D department has great working conditions. It's so interesting to think of the church as a corporation. At home, I was taught not to associate with such people. But the church and God showed me that even these people are human beings. I think they- they think they have it hard here? Do you know how hard it is to stand for hours doing nothing? <laughs> yeah, so hard, I bet. What in the world is this? Bunch of rubble. In this place, our proficient tinkerers are working on our machinery. The work may be challenging, but those who are particularly talented may move on to Gandabranth R&D department. What should I do? Oh dear god. I have to bring the poor woman in there a horrible message. Her husband died while making repairs at the outer walls of the city. He was so exhausted from all the work that he wasn't concentrating and missed a step. How am I to tell her that? Good luck. I fell Ill, Ill a week ago. My husband has to do all the work now in order to support us. This vase's contents smell like... Wait, what? You're gonna leave us hanging? The ultimate cliffhanger? Wow, we got one dollar from that chest. There are more workers here than beds, but since we work in shifts, it's not a problem. Yeah, this place seems... not great. They are working guys to the bone here. Everyone who is dissatisfied should work harder. The diligent will be rewarded. Sure. Okay. You would think that we would only be eating watery soup down here, but we were actually getting large chunks of meat for every meal. What animal is this meat coming from? Oh boy, you should learn how to ask the right questions if you want to stay happy down here. New supplies have arrived! Look at that leg! That must have been a huge cow. As big as a monster, at least. Oh, is that how they're feeding their workers? Remember the church is breeding monsters. Up on Shambhala, they were until we blew up the facility. Are they sending monster meat down to their workers to eat? Perhaps they are. Man, oh man. Okay. Let's check out the higher floors. This is His Holiness's audience chamber. He's currently not available, which is why the queue is so long. Ah, an audience with His Excellency! I'm so nervous! There have been a lot of orphans in Raban since the war. We need more money to help them all. I told them all that His Excellency is currently not available, but they are still waiting in lines. Alright, we have all the information on Wathagan sorted. We must convince His Excellency that they are in need of a new church. Alright, well, I will leave this queue to do its own thing. We'll go back to the city level and 
Continue looking around. You look a little unbalanced to me. You want to stay in good health and a good night's sleep is essential. Keep that in mind. I'm from Nebrelia. Everyone thinks it's always hot there, but they don't know how cold the nights can get. Many of my friends didn't know either and froze to death. Oh. I miss them. Oh my god. That's that's bleak. Okay, is this the orphanage, perhaps? Yeah, looks like it. Did you know that all of our Sky Armor technology is based on the three legendary Seraph armors? They are called Caspar, Melchior, and Balthasar. That's a little bit of lore for us. Alright, we'll leave the kids to their studies. High Inquisitors are only allowed to take off their helmets in private and in front of the Pope. However, Sir Wyatt doesn't even do that. He must have taken a vow or something. Do you wish to buy anything, kind sir? What, what do you sell? I mean, I've only got Glenn in my party right now, so maybe we'll come back later when we have the whole gang together. We'll keep you in mind, Sir Merchant. Aha, here's Lenny. Lenny, there you are. You are conscious again. What a relief. But your face is still marked by paleness. You should probably stay in bed. Listen to me, Lenny. I, I had another dream. Until now, I couldn't remember my previous life. I still don't remember everything, but now I know who I was. That's great! I'm happy for you, Glenn. I couldn't explain it until now, but I've always had a familiar feeling being close to you. I realized that back in Cortara when we were stranded alone. So we know each other from our previous lives? Didn't you have that feeling? I'm not sure what you mean. I was a teacher in the Order of Leonar. No, that can't be. Remember how you almost died and we had to send off your echo? I remember. I followed you shortly after that. It's me. I'm Timothy. Y you're Timothy? I know it's unbelievable, but I... I... Lenny? Wait! Let go of me! What's wrong with you? I don't get it. Drop it and leave her alone. But you have no decency at all. From one day to the next, Lenny is overwhelmed with the memories of a lifetime. It's lucky she's still sane. She probably just needs some time to sort through her memories. Time? Yes, that's probably it. Your Highness, the visitor from Marilia is here. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> kind of choked on my own breath there. Bring him in. Oh, Keelian. Remember, Keelian stole the Grand Grimoire. Why is he here with Frederick? What did you say your name was? Keelian, Your Highness. Your information about Marilia has served us well. I noticed. It did not escape me on the way here. You are mobilizing your troops. Very keenly observed. And that's why I'm afraid I won't be able to let you go. Let's speak. What brings you to us today? But this is... the Grand Grimoire. How did you come into its possession? I took it from your sister. Don't worry, I didn't harm her. She doesn't concern me anymore. But why are you bringing it to me? You know what it is that you're holding there in your hand, right? I do. I brought it because you are the true ruler of Valandis, and this weapon is yours. You are the rightful owner. Is that what you think? Your Highness, I think Killian's deed deserves the greatest rewards we can offer. He has brought us the weapon that will forever protect your realm. Indeed. You have the infinite gratitude of Terran. You may have whatever you wish for. Gold, some land, the title of nobility, anything you want. All that, and a place in the ranks of the generals, along with their power. Are you serious? <laughs> what insolence. But after General Godfrey's departure, we actually are in need of a new replacement. Killian was your name? If you want all that, then I'll make you a deal. 
I still don't 100% know what Kilian's game plan is. He is bopped around from organization to organization. I guess we'll find out eventually. For now, we'll continue to explore Marilea. We must increase the food supplies to Nebrelia. Due to the length of this past war, the population has hardly anything to eat. Our income has been looking rather dismal for the last few months. We unfortunately had to close a couple of orphanages in Pangaea. This is like the storage room area. There's a chest down there we can get. Just gotta weave through all the boxes and we pick up three Colossus hides. Oh, there's Rob. The church's concept of loving your neighbor as yourself surely only applies to other members of the church, right? I mean, probably. <laughs> Lord Marcus is often accompanied by a dark sky armor. He must be something like his private bodyguard. What was the pilot's name again? Endart? I think he must be an R, just like Lord Marcus. Hey, Gil. Truth to be told, it feels a bit strangely strange to be here. The church brought about the demise of my village. Luckily, I'm the master of my emotions. I can control myself. That's right, Egil. Yes, you're right. The church is not as benevolent as they seem, as we've witnessed through both what we saw up on Shambhala with uh, Egil's hometown, as well as how they treat their poor workers down in the maintenance department. You want to return for the day? Yeah, I think we've caught up with everybody. Or no, wait, we never saw Victor. Hang on. Victor is the only person we didn't see, is that right? But I think we've been everywhere. Maybe we'll meet Victor in here. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day. I think we've explored most of the area. We might have missed some spots. But here we go. The gang's all gathered. Lenny. Everyone's here now, Sienna. There's something I have to explain to you. I know you won't be able to believe me, and it will be the biggest surprise of this trip for you. But I have to get it off my chest. I was once a part of the church. We know that. Wasn't it obvious? How could we not have noticed? What? You belong to the church? You knew? Well, except Egil, apparently. Um, how? You were well informed about the facilities in Shambhala. You seem to know High Inquisitor Raphael. And likewise, this Wyatt. Well, then, sorry to have stolen your time. <laughs> anyway, to wrap it up, I uncovered those facilities in Jambala and other crooked business and left the church. I've been traveling the world ever since. I'm just surprised no one in Marilea recognizes you. As High Inquisitor, I always had to wear a helmet. Ordinary residents and soldiers don't know my face. You had the rank of High Inquisitor? That's surprising. I wouldn't have thought of you of capable of it. Yes, have fun at my expense. I'm being honest for once, and I've earned nothing but mockery. Thank you, Sienna, for telling us the truth. They may tease you a little, true, but it means a lot to us. Thanks. Well, that's it. Let's return to our rooms. <laughs> Poor Sienna's grand unveiling wasn't quite as grand as she thought it was going to be. We already kind of knew. Can't you sleep, Rob? I don't understand you, Sir Eagle. I'm the reason you're racking your brains? You should hate the people of Marilea with all your hurt. They have oppressed your village and ultimately brought it to its death. Forgive me. Hmm. The church is to blame, that's true. But does that make every single resident guilty guilty? They belong to the church, isn't that reason enough? There can be many reasons why each of them is a part of the church. However, not every one of them were involved in the fate of my people. Should I just condemn them all? It would be the easiest thing to do. But would it be the right thing to do? You look at it so logically. 
The common people who bullied me in the Court of Tormund. I hate them with all my heart. Sir Egil, you are a noble knight. Doesn't your pride hurt when you walk through Merilea? It's the death of my people that painfully pains me, but mere revenge will not bring them back. And certainly not if I take some random citizens as easy targets just to satisfy my need for revenge. If I did that, then I would be ashamed of myself. This would really hurt my pride. I understand. I wish I could see it the same way as you. Well, what's keeping you from it? Hmm, I wonder. Are you sure you want to do this? No, of course we're not sure. Our first priority is Lenny's well-being, after all. If we had only been conscious, we could have stopped her from coming here. If you really plan to kill him, it will throw the entire world into chaos. Are you aware of that? No, it will actually save the entire world. Take our word for it. Well, that's mysterious. Who does Bethraz want to kill? Here we see the Pope and some Grand Inquisitors. You screwed up! What if Kilian returned the stone to King Frederick? Even if he brought them the grimoire and gave away our position, they won't be able to mobilize so quickly. Besides, we found Reyna's tomb. There's no longer any reason to stay in Valandis. Enough! I don't want to hear any more. Away with you! You do not deserve to meet the Holy Mother. Your Excellency, Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran is here. At last! Uh, I am honored to be able to greet the Holy Mother. You would have thought that you would be reborn during my administration of all times. I am here because you wanted to speak with me. What is it? Your Excellency, leave the talking to me. You may also leave the room. But... Very well... Celestia, welcome. My name is Marcus, and I am the leader of the Gandabrand Society, which, as I am sure you know, also organizes the church. I know of Gandabranth, but originally you are from the Order of Leonar, aren't you? You know? Very good. Whoa! What are you doing? How unexpected. The vessel is empty. The three guardians within you are gone. Three guardians? Celestia, you are here because I have to explain some things to you. The Church is descended from the Order of Leonar, a group searching for a weapon that can defeat the Harbinger. We will work together to achieve this goal, but first we have another common enemy. You speak of the Vane? Indeed. They were supposed to wait from their throne in another dimension for us to find a weapon. But the immortality they gained there went to their heads. They felt like gods who thought they could judge mankind. And that is why they created the Grand Grimoire and destroyed the human world, over and over again. They were afraid that mankind would become too strong. They made sure that the population and progress would be set back for millennia. How is it that we don't know about this from history books? History is written by the survivors, and these are named by the Vane. They decide what is written. Even we of the Order do not know how many times the cycle has repeated itself. That is also the reason why you maidens exist. Narratives change, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. Over millennia, one story becomes another. However, you maidens carry the unadulterated knowledge in your memories. No matter how many centuries pass, you all know what really happened. Not because of stories, but because you all have experienced everything yourselves. You are the truth of the Order. You really want me to trust you. I swear to God, I'm on your side. But what is your reason for the monsters on Shambhala? We need to use the Grand Grimoire to destroy the Vein. But do you know the true nature of the Grimoire? It must destroy life and absorb the ether to gain power. To kill the Vein, we need to make the Grand Grimoire as strong as possible. This is why we created monsters that we could sacrifice to the Grimoire. After all, we don't sacrifice humans like King Frederick. But you sent the monsters to the surface of Eldrea! We send the leftovers to our safe stations on the surface because we have developed something much better than those little beasts. We've created lumps of flesh that house as much ether as hundreds of monsters. Is that what all this is about? To protect human life? We will have plenty of time to get to know each other better. Celestia, there are three things we need in order to kill the Vane. 
the Grand Grimoire as a weapon, the key from the Tomb of Reyna, and of course, the fitting door behind which the Vein are hiding. Here, you can have the key back. So the key opens the way towards the Vein? But this is nothing more than a flower. And what about the Grand Grimoire? Please, hand it over. We fought hard for it. Well, there is a little problem. It was stolen from us. What are you saying? You were going to take care of it! What's happening? Lord Marcus, we are under attack. Terran's troops have ambushed us. Impossible. How can this be? They could not have mobilized so quickly and caught up with us. Lord Marcus, our engine has been hit. Terran's generals are casting unimaginable magic. They've destroyed all the protective walls. So this is the rumored power that destroyed Nebrelia. My lord, I have initiated all preparations for a counterattack, but for safety reasons, I advise you to get on a rescue ship with the Holy Mother. Our conversation must continue another time, Celestia. What is going on? Woof! Hey, you there! What's happening? Terran is attacking us. Get to the shelters, quick! King Frederick is attacking the church? Has he gone mad? We need to find Lenny and get out of here. Agreed. No one's here. Not even a soldier. They must have escaped into a shelter or a rescue ship. Seeing the damage done so far, I would pick the ship. Do you think they took Lenny with them? Of course, she's the Holy Mother, after all. Come, I will lead you the way to the hangar. Maybe we can catch up. No, we need to get past these security doors. We don't have the key to this door. Alright, folks, well, again, we are uncovering lots and lots of lore, but just as we were going to get to the good stuff in our conversation with Lord Marcus, we have been attacked by Terran. How they mobilize so quickly, I don't know. I guess maybe it's just their generals attacking us. Uh, regardless, we've got to try to get to the escape pods and, and catch up with Lenny. I'm going to call it a day here for today's episode of Chained Echoes. When we get back, we will be hard on Lenny's trail and trying to escape Marilia. Hopefully I'll see you guys back here again soon for another episode of Chained Echoes.